Yoya is still thinking about the girl he saved. But he feels a little relieved because there were some soldiers who seemed to have saved her as well. The scene continues. As Yoya looks at the clothes he wears every day, he thinks about buying some more clothes, as he now has enough money. Actually, according to the stats of the clothes he's currently wearing, the clothes won't get dirty. But Yoya doesn't want to look like he's wearing the same shirt every day. While at the shopping mall, Yoya feels like many people are looking at him. Some women look at him because of his handsomeness and think he's a famous model. Meanwhile, elsewhere, a photographer is seen scolding a manager because the male model, who should be in the next photo shoot, is already there but he's late. It turns out that it's not the first time he's been late for a photo shoot. The manager looks apologetic but it doesn't change the situation. A female artist named Miu has been ready at the location since morning because the theme of the photo shoot is about a couple being intimate in a shopping mall so without a male model the photo shoot cannot be done. So reluctantly, the photographer decides to look for a male talent to replace the actor, who's late and he will look for it in the mall. Yoya is seen choosing clothes and he is very surprised because there are many clothing, models he has never seen before. While he's choosing clothes, two women come up to him and ask if he has any free time. Yoya thinks it's a marketing technique to entice him to buy clothes there. Turns out that one of the women invites Yoya to hang out with her if he's free. Yoya feels relieved, but now he has to think about how to reject the two women without hurting their feelings. Yoya says he already has other plans at the time. Yoya then leaves them both, who are stunned by Yoya's charm. Meanwhile, the photographer is still looking for another talent that he thinks is suitable. For his photo shoot, as the photographer walks past the escalator, he sees Yoya next to him and he immediately thinks he has found the perfect replacement for the late male actor. He quickly approaches Yoya and manages to persuade him to participate in the photo shoot with him. Yoya then goes through the photo shoot as a couple that looks good together with Mew. Although still awkward, he performs some intimate poses with Mew as a couple in love. During a photo shoot session, Mew thanked Yoya for saving everyone there. Yoya was impressed with Mew, who despite being a few years younger than him, worked very efficiently. This motivated Yoya to not be nervous anymore during a photo shoot and not be a burden to Mew. However, Yoya was surprised when he had to hold hands and hug Mew. The scene then shifted to Lexia, a princess who was previously saved by Yoya, still thinking about the man who saved her. Lexia got out of bed and rushed to find the person who saved her in the dangerous forest. The guard soldiers around a room tried to stop Lexia from going back to the forest. But Lexia insisted because, as a princess, she had to thank the person who saved her life. One soldier said it was very dangerous, but Lexia was stubborn and said the soldier would accompany her back to the forest. Back to Yoya, the photo shoot session had ended, and he was resting with Mew. When a crew member offered him a drink, Yoya choked because he felt nervous being next to Mew. Mew gave Yoya a handkerchief and told him not to be nervous, but Yoya felt embarrassed and declined. Yoya said that Mew was amazing because she could handle everything well. He also said that all the crew members working there were working hard, which impressed him. Yoya then asked Mew why she chose to become a model. Mew answered that she didn't know the exact reason, but she thought she wanted to be seen, because her parents were always busy, and they didn't spend much time with her. Mew thought maybe she started modeling because she wanted to be seen by her parents. She didn't think she was impressive, but she had fans who continued to support her, when others saw her photos in magazines and were happy, Mew also felt happy. As they were chatting, someone arrived, it was Shu, the male model who was supposed to have a photo shoot session. The people there, especially the women, were very impressed with him, it seemed like he had a lot of fans. Shu then met Mew and told her that he had to finish the silly shoot quickly and then go eat with her. Actually, Mew wanted to refuse, but Shu cornered her against the wall and appeared to be flirting. With her, Muya tried to call Shu and tell him to stop his behavior, as Mew seemed uncomfortable with it. Of course, Shu became angry that someone had disturbed him. Shu tried to hit Muya, and he appeared to step on Mew's handkerchief. Quickly, Muya blocked the attack and slammed Shu to the ground. There was a brief silence afterward, and people were quiet watching the scene that had just happened in front of their eyes. Meanwhile, 
Muya was silent, wondering why she suddenly tried to hit him. Muya also wondered why she's movements seemed so slow to him, and he slammed him smoothly, without realizing it. He was also worried that the people there would yell at him for defeating a handsome man. But, on the contrary, the people there, especially the women, saw the action and cheered for. Muya, saying that he had done something very cool and they supported him. Sho, who was lying on the ground, tried to get up and felt confused why someone who usually trained boxing could be easily defeated by Muya. He immediately ran away after knowing that there was a crew recording all the events, and the photographer reminded him not to underestimate his job. Mu also thanked Shu, because it turned out that Shu always followed her wherever she went and she didn't know what to do. Then the photographer offered Shu to work with him, as he thought that Shu was very suitable to become a model. The photographer offered Shu a contract and promised to pay him a quite high salary. However, very politely, Shu refused the invitation, feeling that he was not ready for it. The photographer respected Shu's opinion. As a thank you, he gave Shu a lot of clothes. Actually, Shu wanted to refuse the gift, as he felt he was not worthy of it. But the photographer said it was the result of his hard work that deserved to be appreciated. During the car ride home, the photographer said to Mew that he regretted why Shu didn't accept his offer because he was sure Shu would soon become a famous model if he agreed to it. But he realized that forcing someone is not a good thing. While looking at the photos with Yuya, Mu also said that she really wanted to work with Yuya again. The photographer said that Mu's face turned red when she said that. Of course, the photographer thought that Mu had fallen in love with Yuya, but Mu, Shili said that she didn't think like that. The scene shifts to Yuya's residence. In his home, Yuya was very grateful because he had received a lot of clothes that he needed, and now he was rushing to another world. On the other hand, Lexia and her troops were seen struggling against some monsters in the forest. When one of the monsters was about to attack Lexia from behind, Yuya arrived just in time and killed all the monsters there. Lexia and her troops looked at him in admiration. Yuya also provided first aid to the injured soldier. After the situation appeared to be safe, suddenly Lexia approached Yuya and with teary eyes, she asked Yuya, will you marry me? Yuya, along with all the soldiers there, was stunned by what Princess Lexia had just done. At the end of the episode, the head of an agency saw Yuya's photo shoot with Mew, and she seemed very interested in Yuya's charm. She knew that Yuya was not a model, and just an amateur. Seeing a great opportunity, she seemed very eager to offer Yuya a contract. Then she ordered her subordinates to immediately find Yuya's whereabouts and make him sign a contract with her before other agencies could contract him. The agency leader said that she would not let him slip away like that. 